Karl Heinrich Marx, the father of Marxism, was born on May 5, 1818 in the Kingdom of Prussia, part of the German Confederation. His grandfathers on both sides came from lines of famous rabbis, but his own father had converted to Protestantism, given the barriers to Jewish involvement in society as full citizens. In 1835, Marx left home to attend the university, where he became fascinated with the teachings of German philosopher G.W.F. Hegel. He had a full and exciting life, but was captivated by these big ideas coming from Hegel about what determined the path of a society of human civilization. Between 1843 and 1845, Karl Marx forged two relationships that changed the course of his life. One was to his wife, Jenny von Westphalen, who came from the Prussian aristocracy. A happy marriage, seven children. And the other was his intellectual bonding with Friedrich Engels, who brought to the relationship a set of experiences and knowledge that really opened Marx's eyes to new approaches. In 1848, Marx and Engels laid out their concept of socialism in their most famous work, The Communist Manifesto. In their writings, they championed the worker and advocated a classless society that dissolved bonds between the proletariat and the bourgeoisie. The Communist Manifesto is not only Marx maturing from a philosopher and economist into a revolutionary and an activist, it's also remarkably well-timed. The ink was barely dry when a wave of revolution swept all over Europe. He was seen as so seditious that he couldn't find a home anywhere in continental Europe and therefore exiled to London. In London, Karl took a job as a European correspondent to the New York Tribune. Writing for the American market, he naturally had to turn his attention to American politics to an extent. The crisis over slavery, the abolitionist movement, and ultimately the Civil War. Marx went on to write economic and political works, including Das Kapital. In 1864, Marx was elected to the General Council of the International Workingmen's Association, where he fought against capitalism as well as the anarchist wing of the organization. In his travels in Europe and in the United States, uh, he had an international perspective on things. He had a worldwide view, a very, very wide aperture. By the early 20th century, Marx's theories became increasingly popular and were adopted by different countries. The Russian Revolution of 1917 ushered in the first communist government, and after World War II, socialism and communism spread to countries throughout Europe, Asia, and Latin America. I think that communism appealed because it provided such a contrast with the existing economic situation. Whether he foresaw it or not, his impact on revolutionary movements from Russia to China to Cuba, Vietnam, North Korea has been immense. They all base their legitimacy and their program on Marxism. Karl Marx died of illness on March 14, 1883, and is buried in Highgate Cemetery in London. On his tombstone is inscribed the final line of the Communist Manifesto, workers of all lands unite.